Well guys, we are going to continue with the second video for the amine where we are going to study about the chemical properties of amine. So uh, as we learned previously, uh, amine can be prepared by using three compounds uh, which is from nitrile, CN. Uh, it can also be prepared by using halalalkane and also amide, reduction of amide. Okay, so from here you can see that uh, when propane nitrile and also propane amide re uh, react with a reducing agent, uh, LiLH4 followed by acidic hydrolysis, so uh, you're able to form an amine. And then if you react uh, halalalkanes with concentrated ammonia in ethanol under reflux, so you're able to also form amine. Generally, amine has three reactions. So amine can react with, since it is a base, amine can react with hydrochloric acid or uh, any acids to form salts. Uh, amine can also react with the acyl chloride to form different class of amide. And uh, when we react with sodium nitride in cold condition, eventually it will lead to formation of alcohol. So these are the tables for the chemical preparations of amine, where when we react with amine, uh, the following reaction will take place. So when you have uh, amine, react ethanol under reflux, so you form an amine and salt. When you reduce a uh, nitrile, so you are able to form an amine. And when you reduce an amide, you are able to form amine too. So these are the uh, summaries of the chemical reactions of amine. So we are going to have a look at the neutralization reactions of amine. Reaction with acyl chloride to form different class of amide and also diacetization reactions of amine to form alcohol. So let's start from the neutralizations. So protonation of an amine gives an amine salt. So the amine salt is composed of two types of ion. The protonated amine cation and also the anion derived from the acid. Simple amine salts is named as the substituents of ammonium salt. For example, when you have uh, ethan amine react with hydrochloric acid, you form ethyl ammonium chloride. You form a cyclohexan amine react with hydrogen bromide, you form the salt. So no matter which class of the amine that is reacted, so they will form respectively to their individual salt involved, uh, including even uh, ethanoic acid. Uh, if you can see in here, uh, when ethanoic acid react with amine under room temperature pressure, they are able to form salt but not other compounds. So since the reaction is a neutralization, heat is given off as an exothermic. Other than that, the fishy smells given off by amine is also disappear after the reaction. So these are the two observations that you should take notes uh, whenever you are uh, suggesting what observation is given off for these reactions. So uh, this amine, uh, most of the time, this uh, ammonium salt are mostly acidic. So it can react back with base to form salt plus amine plus water. So uh, no matter for what class of amine, all of them can react best, uh, react back with a base to form the respective amine because ammonium salt in here are acidics. So uh, the second reactions that we're going to have a look is the aminolysis of amine by using acyl chloride. So as mentioned previously, we state that when primary amine react with acyl chloride, you form a secondary amide. When secondary amine react with acyl chloride, you form a tertiary amide. So tertiary amine does not react with acyl chloride. So these are the summaries of a reaction when this uh, acyl chloride we have primary and also secondary amine. So RCOCl we have RNH2 will form a secondary amide. And then uh, RCOCl we have uh, R2NH you form a tertiary amide. So the side product in here form is uh, ammonium salt okay, due to the side product of hydrolysis which is HCl is acidic and we further react with the amine. So these are the examples of the equations for all the reactions uh, by using acyl chloride and different classes of amine. So if you react with a primary amine, so you form a secondary amide. Okay, if you react with another primary amine, this is a secondary amide. If you react with secondary amine, you form a tertiary amide. So this one too, secondary amine will form a tertiary amide. Okay, so these are the uh, second reactions of the uh, amine, which is the reaction with acyl chloride. So uh, the last reaction is the reaction of amine with nitrous acid. So uh, nitrous acid is actually unstable at room temperature. Yeah. So uh, you have to prepare freshly by using sodium nitrate and hydrochloric acid under cold condition. Uh, the cold condition in here is somewhere around zero to five degrees Celsius.
okay okay so uh, the overall equations given by the reaction of NaNO2 in HCl is NaCl plus HNO2 so the organic product formed for the reaction between nitrous acid and amine depend on two factors uh, first of all is the class of the amine used and second is the condition for the reaction okay so now um, Nitrous acid, uh, because uh, when uh, because it is acidic, uh, it is able able to undergo uh, removal of the water molecule to give a nitrosyl ion. So this nitrosyl ion will then further react with the amines to give the respective salt. Okay. So um, generally, when this uh, nitrosyl ion react with amine, so you are able to form a di alkyl diazonium. However, this alkyl diazonium is extremely unstable. So. Uh, it will then break to give off nitrogen gas and form a carbocation. Now this carbocation may lead to the formation of different species. So if it is reacting with a nucleophile such as water, so uh, that is why you are able to form uh, alcohol which is act as a major product. Now sometimes it is also uh, deprotonations of this uh, carbocation can also give a little uh, alkyl as a side product in the uh, case in here. So that is why in here. Um, you sometimes will see uh, some of the selections of answers in the exam why got alkene so this is the reason why however generally the equation for the reaction of primary amine with nitrous acid can be written in the equation below so for example if you have ethan amine we add with solar hydroxide in hydrochloric acid at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius we form alcohol plus nitrogen plus water Okay, so here are more examples of reactions that uh, I can show you in here. So uh, if you react with butan amine, uh, butan one amine, you form butan one O. You will react with uh, propan two amine, you react to form propan two O. Uh, cyclohexane amine will form cyclohexane O. Okay, so these are the three reactions of the amine. Next, we are going to have a look at anilines and its chemical properties. Aniline. Phenylamine. An amino benzene is a toxic organic compound with the formula CCH5NH2. Consisting of phenyl group attached to the amino group, aniline is prototypical aromatic amine. So, amine can be prepared by reducing the nitro benzene using tin hydrochloric acid under room temperature pressure. So, this is the general equation. So, when you have um, nitro benzene, when you react in uh, SN in HCl, so you are able to form uh, aniline. Okay. Okay, so uh, some of the naming of anilines are shown to you in below. So basically it's aniline, then you have automethyl aniline, paranitroaniline, and methyl aniline, and so on. So these are just examples illustrated for you to show you that there are no difference of um, naming of hello, uh, this uh, L amine compared to LQ amine. So in terms of basicity, aniline uh, is a much weaker base compared to LQ amine. So the lower basicity of aromatic is due to the electron withdrawing effects of the phenyl group because the carbon atoms of the phenyl group are sp2 hybridized. They are more electronegative and therefore more electron withdrawing than at the sp3 hybridized carbon atom of LQ group. So uh, for another, uh, further explanation can be uh, explain in the facts that uh, aniline is actually very stable due to the resonance effect. So as the delocalized electron of the unshared electron pair of nitrogen over the auto para position, so this will also at the same time cause the uh, auto para positions of this NH2 to be um, very activated. And this very activated auto and para positions cause NH2 to become a ring activator where they react uh, a lot more convenient, milder conditions compared to normal benzene. Later we are have going to have more um, examples of reactions for all these reactions later. So other than the reaction of LQ amine, which can also undergo by area amine, so aniline can also undergo the reactions summarized in the table below, which are generally used to distinguish between LQ amine with that of area amine. So uh, L uh, aniline can undergo bromination when we add with bromine water at room temperature. So uh, when aniline we add with bromine aqueous solution, you will form a 246 tri bromo uh, aniline, which is formed as a white precipitate. Okay, uh, and then you you can also undergo coupling reactions to form a color dye. So later we are going to have a look in details of how are these dyes is formed. So bromination of aniline. Eh? So when bromine water is added to solution of aniline, the brown color of the bromine water discharge almost immediately and form a white precipitate of 246 tribromoaniline as stated in the equation below. 
Okay, so not for the reaction that it does not require any catalyst such as FEPL3 because as we described just now, NH2 is a wrong, strong ring activate group, so therefore it does not require any catalyst. And this activate group is so strong that uh, immediately it will substitute at all two, four, and six positions. So this is a very resemble uh, chemical properties to that of the phenol. So because of the same reason too. Okay, so uh, this is how. Um, you can use to distinguish between aniline and also uh, LQ amine. As discussed in LQ amine, when we act with nitrous acid between the sodium nitrate and hydrochloric acid, you form an LQ diazonium salt. So this LQ diazonium salt, as we described just now, is actually unstable. So it will eventually give off the nitrogen and a carbocation. However, for the case of aryl amine, it results a stable of aryl diazonium salt to be isolated that does not liberate the nitrogen gas unlike alkyl amine. So, and when uh, aryl amines, when uh, aniline reacts with sodium nitride in HCl at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, you are able to form what we so called as a benzene diazonium chloride. Okay, so take a note that uh, benzene diazonium chloride, the nitrogen with four bonds will always carry the positive charge. So aryl diazonium salt are extremely useful because diazonium group can be readily replaced with a number of groups uh, that are otherwise difficult to install and is an aromatic ring. But for our case in here, we are only going to study two of it, which is the reaction to form phenol and also reaction to form di via coupling reactions. So when aryl diazonium salt is heated in the presence of water, so you are able to form phenol plus HCl plus N2. So this reaction is one of the most preferable methods to synthesis phenol in laboratory. Another common application of the aryl diazonium salt is to synthesize different color dye using suitable reagent. So this, rea this reaction is a type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction and this name of reaction is called as coupling reactions. So some of the common color dyes that are produced aryl diazonium salt are given below. So when you react with phenol under alkaline condition, uh, you form uh, azo dye which is a uh, yellow color. So uh, the purpose of the sodium hydroxide is the purpose of the sodium hydroxide is to uh, form the sodium phenoxide, lah, the forming O minus, so that electrophilic aromatic substitution can be carried out easier. When reacted with one naphthol, so you form uh, this color dye, which is a red scarlet, and when react with aniline, it forms an orange precipitate, uh, which is like this. Okay, okay. So that I have for you all the chemical properties from LQ amine and also aryl amine. So I see you in the third video. Thank you.